Hi everyone, shop with Mick M. Um, doing uh, some shooting this afternoon on uh, more flight lining, really. It's a place that um, a bit of permission I've had for, for many a year, and um, so I'm going to go there and um, give that a go. And so I'm just going to change change the chokes because I've got quite open chokes at the moment in this gun. And uh, if I showed you how to change the chokes before, obviously it's more for the novice guns, the experienced one. Long chokes, this Teague. Teague chokes are not like you need the key. The key you need is like a tapered, tapered key that goes in. You can see they're quite long chokes. That's half, half choke. So I'm going to tighten the pattern up by putting three quarter in. Okay. If you look on here, three eight, five eight, three quarter. Okay. So there's your three quarter. There. Okay. And we'll just put that in there. Later on, when we clean guns, we'll put some choke grease in that as well. The amount of people that say to me, oh, you don't need to change your chokes, don't need to change your chokes. Yeah, you've got your chokes, use them. You've got spreaders, like quarter choke, obviously your shot spreads out more. If you're decoying and the birds are coming in quite tight, put your cylinder in. Cylinders literally open choke straight through the barrel. If you're out, you know, um, you're testing really testing high shots use your full choke because then that's your tightest possible pattern you know just your, your chokes will help mark my words so. that ready. Oh, wait, we're back in the slip obviously I'm in there so I know it's empty jack mate so. okay, so we just get our stuff ready and we'll drive over to the shoot yeah, if you uh, look on the left hand side now, that was where I used to live in the 80s. Now, that was where my sister had a horse here as well. What's there? I better see the horsey girls actually, Jack, and just tell them that we're going to be shooting down the bottom there. Mm. That's a good idea. Yep. I always think more people can shoot. We can turn around here. Right, look out, Jack. Got one coming in. Are you ready? Got it. Well, just concentrate. Just get that bead on them, mate. Right, go on. <laughs> Shot. Have a quick pan out across here. Like I say, I was shooting this when I was 14. Good thing about this little bit of uh, permission here is the fact that uh, it's uh, all the pigeons are out on that farm during the day, and then they 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 come across to the forest behind us to roost at night. So there's always a flight line across here, be it pigeon or crow, rook. So so yeah, but, um, yeah we're getting, getting a few few now. Okay, brilliant. That's obviously the field behind here was where my sister had her horse. But, yeah. Okay, look out, uh, Jack's getting ready to have a go. Try not to be faulted. Right, a um, couple of things, back to the nostalgia part of this shoot, is I used to use a lot of these. They were Rockwell Special Mark II. 
very good because they was actually six and a half shot which was kind of like an in-betweener obviously i haven't seen rockwell for a long time i think you still get them but uh but yeah happy days it's the only problem with plastic you must pick up your cartridges this has been here for a couple of decades anyway also the other thing i must show you is i have actually found the watering can jack that i sat on as well yeah. i'm gonna take a picture of that now <clears throat> there you go my old watering can used to sit on here overgrown now weren't the most uh weren't the most comfortable comfortable of seats but uh did the job anyway back to the shooting don't lose too much shooting time doing it go on shot get out good well done all right i'm gonna go and get my keep down keep down keep down I do quarter choke or three quarter. There's the other one there. Okay. That's dead. Right, um quick outro from uh, yesterday's shoot and uh First of all, many thanks to the uh, gamekeeper and the landowner for letting us go over there. It's a good joke, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. you don't get that chance when the game season's still on to shoot like we did yesterday, so we do appreciate it. Thanks very much. And, uh, and also, obviously, I, I can't stress the importance of getting the youngsters involved in shooting. I mean, my dad took me down to that shoot when I was, you know, Jack's age, really. And now I'm taking my son down there to shoot just the circle of, of shooting which we've got to keep keep going uh, it's very important and um, yeah yeah so uh, thanks for watching we'll do a video next week and uh, stay tuned no not really just see you next week <laughs> and stop is it